said the world was created within seven days The moon and the stars were all hung up in place He's the Alpha, Omega, the first and the last It's amazing what God can do Well, it's amazing, amazing what my God can do It's amazing, amazing what my God can do It's amazing, amazing what my God can do It's amazing what God can do Well, it's amazing what God can do Well, it's amazing what God can do Well, it's amazing what God can do Thank you very much for uh, being in this Elevison broadcast. My name is Archbishop Gilbert Deya, and I'm proud and happy to see Jesus in action. My colleague here is, my, is Pastor James Munga. James, welcome to the program. Thank you, Archbishop. Welcome, viewers. May James, God bless you so you much. you are a delivery minister. Yes, Archbishop. Pastor who is known as casting out the devil. Yes, Archbishop. Now, we go to our service of uh, 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 what we saw here in the service in the building here. Uh, uh, yesterday, we saw a lady who had HIV before. Yes, Archbishop. And she was carried with her daughter being brought to the service. Mm -hmm. And now her her name is Cassandra. Cassandra. Yes. Oh, uh, you saw Cassandra. Yes, then? Cassandra. Yeah. When Cassandra was brought here. I saw her. I have. Uh, I am a witness because sometimes, you know, sometimes when these miracles do happen, like Bishop, mm. they really astonish us, even ourselves. They do. Because Cassandra came here, and actually, I never knew that that that, that lady can survive. No. Because her, her 15 year old was carrying her on the yeah, back like a back. small baby yeah, small. and then tie her with the the with the, the, the rapper, the, the one. So, so she was the yeah. there so in Kenya. So I did not understand. I said, Oh, can this one survive? And you know, she had even a cath catheter, the one that uh, yes. the one that they used to, to pass, uh, the one that they what do we call it? Yes, catheter. Catheter, yeah. And because it has liver or kidney, kidney, kidney problem, problem yeah. kidney problem, and all those problems. So I said, but when Cassandra, she came again, I never even recognized her you because she, she took a little bit of time to come. And then when she came back, I saw this one, uh, I think I saw this girl. By the end of the day, she was now with, uh, the, the, her face was full of meat. Mm, mm. And I do glorify God about Cassandra, Bishop. Well, before we go further, we are taking to the service to see what we have seen. God has done to a lady who was condemned medically that is going to die because of HIV AIDS. We speak about HIV AIDS, it's not curable, but we see people who definitely amaze people when they are zero point something zero CD for count, and now suddenly these people became normal. Stay there and we come back. So the chance. Praise the Lord Church. Yes, we sir. have a God of miracles, signs, and wonders in this ministry. Yes, James. Uh, Archbishop, you have been saying that you say that the people who are back there to stand, and the Lord is going to touch them there. Mm -hmm. This, our sister, has been suffering for three years with the breeding. Three years bleeding. breeding. And uh, today, when she was just studying there, she is a sister to the girl who came here, who was being carried by her daughter. The girl who received a miracle here, you know the Cassandra. You are Cassandra's sister. sister yeah. Cassandra was suffering of HIV AIDS, and he was supposed to be dead. And you see, he was he was removed from the hospital to here. I think about three years ago, two years ago. Can you remember? Yes, yes, sir. How? When was that? When Cassandra was brought here with her mother and her daughter. She was brought here in 2007. Seven. It's now two years. Yes. Cassandra, your sister, was supposed to be dead, according to medical in the UK. Yes. She had kidney problem. She had HIV. Yes. 
She was being carried at the back at her daughter. Even the day she was brought here. Were you here? No, I wasn't. But you heard about it? Yes. Where is that Cassandra, my daughter? My She's baby, there. come here and give me a, a hug. Cassandra, come with just give me a hug. With her daughter. Huh? With her daughter. With come her daughter. with your daughter who used to carry you at your back. Somebody make a cheerful noise. <laughs> is Cassandra who was supposed to be the great two years ago because of HIV. Come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me a hug, give me a hug. The most beautiful girl in the world. Look at her. Come here. You used to carry your mom to I remember two years ago in that dead platform with with, 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 with an hospital label Margaret this is Cassandra say it to me something Margaret you are there tell me what do you say about oh Bishop oh hey. Margaret oh 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 hey. oh, oh. <laughs> Margaret. You know, Bishop if I will not, if I will come to church for anything else, mm -hmm. I'll come for another Sandra. Yes. I'll come for another Sandra. You were there. I was there when this girl she could hardly walk. She was thin. She couldn't speak. She couldn't speak. She couldn't breathe pro properly. And she was she, direct from the hospital. She was jaundiced. Her liver was. You could see it in her eyes. The eyes, kidney, kidney, and everything. The eyes were yellow, Bishop. Weak. It was like very weak. And thin. Very thin. thin. Very thin. And was very light. And very light. And very dark. You used to carry, you used to carry your mother yeah. to the bedroom. Yeah. And she was very light. Yes, sir. Now, what do you see about your mother? Can you carry her now? She's so heavy. <laughs> no. <laughs> The day your mother was here, you people carry your mother here. Yes, sir. From the hospital. He has an hospital tag. Yes, sir. You happy what happened to your mother? Yes, sir. You happy? What's happened now, yeah? Hmm? God healed her. Because you are worried your mother was dying. Yeah. Do you love God of your mother? Pardon? Do you love God of your mother who healed her? Yes, sir. I spoke to your dad one day on telephone. What is your dad saying? Oh, well, Bishop, he, he's very happy that God has healed me, but he can't wait to see me. But since I fell sick from 2007, since he has not seen me. But so, he but he heard that you are dying. Yes. You are being just carried, you couldn't walk. Yes, Bishop. And now this is you. Who has made this kind of good hair? I'm, I'm completely different now. Completely different. <laughs> Ka, Ka, Cassandra, what was your CD count the day they brought you here? Well, um, that day you came here, what was your CD count? When I came here, my CD4 was... CD4? It was very low, but... When I was diagnosed, it was 0 0.02. Yeah, that's it. Now, your CD count was 0 0.02. Those who have HIV, you will understand. 0 0.02, you should not live. You are dead. Even those who have 100 plus can't walk. And it should be 600 and above. But hers was 0 0.02. That means 0 minus. That means she had nothing. And this is the Cassandra who is as healthy than most of you now. What do you talk about my Jesus? What do you talk about my Jesus? What do you talk about my Jesus? Well, is there anybody medically you are experienced with what we, is known as CD4 count. Anybody here? Anybody here understand CD4 count medically? Um, you. 
Come, come, you also had HIV yesterday, you were touched. You, you, you know it because you also... Yes, I also have HIV. What uh, is your CD4 count? CD, my CD4 count nowadays is uh, moving between 200 and 300. It doesn't go higher as now, it's now, supposed to be. Zero zero 0.02, what do you mean by that? I think it was very, very bad because the time when I was diagnosed, mine was, uh, was, uh, was, uh, was 0 0.10. But, but zero point ten ha, ha, before you came here. Yes, or oh, oh, it was ten. No, when I when I was that diagnosed. You asked was zero point ten. I think it was ten. You asked was ten. I, it was ten. And how weak were you? I was very weak because my husband uh, had to wash even my knickers and everything else. I couldn't do anything. Your husband was to do anything. Yes, he had to do everything else. Now your CD count is now. 200? 200. Uh, it's moving between 200 and, 200 and 400. But no. uh, I, had, uh, I had lack of faith. But today when you ministered, mm. I felt uh, blood um, running over my back. Then I told myself that the reason I've been coming here for deliverance for, for about two months, but I'm still having this fear. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the devil. And today I'm receiving my healing and I'm healed and I'm not longer now, going now, to take my time. What does this Jesus mean to you who people who know CD4 count? That CD4 count can be zero, can be ten, and can grow and grow. Hey, uh, Jesus who is in this place, I can't describe him. He's so in, 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 in indescribable and incredible. HIV killing people. Yes. And to you, you are not going to die. I'm not going What's to die. What's that mean to you? It means, it means I'm more than fortunate because in my country and everywhere else, mm. everybody else who has HIV, it's mm. like their life is, is finished. Finish. They don't expect any future and they are not viewed by the public as, life. as, as a life or as normal people. They, immediately you have HIV, you are counted like a dead body. Yes, because we are we also discriminated. Discriminated. Yes. Cassandra was carried here. Yes. She has liver, kidney problem, and she had that HIV. And that her daughter used to carry her. How did you, how are you carrying your mom? With my hand up the stairs. Your yeah, hand at the back. Yeah, my back. You put your mom here at the back. You used to put your mom here. Yes, sir. And then you carry her like this. Up the stairs, yeah. Michael, can, Mike, can you sit here? Sit here, we can carry, carry you. <laughs> like this? Huh? Yes, sir. She used to carry you like this? Yes, Bishop. And walked with you? Now, your mom is heavy. You can't carry her now. No, sir. Now, when your daughter was carrying you the way I carried this gentleman, what was your heart feeling? Well, the first thing, Bishop, well, I had no hope. At you had no time. hope. No hope. To leave? No hope at all. Because you, doctors were already given up. Oh, and you, yes, and you know you are going to die. Yes, Bishop. I never thought I would be healed today. You never thought you would be. Yes. You would be here. I, would be, I never. I never thought I would be healed. Can you just yeah, you, from the very first time I came here? Mm. But because Jesus is so wonderful, I am healed today. Mm. So you are happy that you can see the people. Look at how beautiful you are. That's you. Oh, yeah. Look at your teeth. Look at your nose. I got flesh now, Bishop. Huh? Now. <laughs> you, you got flesh now. Can you see yourself on the screen? Yes. Bishop. This is how healthy and how beauty you are. There was no flesh on this. Hmm? There was no flesh. And what the doctor says to you now when they see you leaving? Well, they can't believe Bishop because I'm just I'm just different. They won't. They, they're very surprised that I'm alive today. Which hospital were you attending here in the UK? In well, I go to Norfolk Park. 
Nothing else is done. Africa. Your doctor was an Asian, white, or black? I think he's white. But what white. did he say to see you leaving? To other, what is the story they are talking about to you? Well, he's happy to see me alive today, Your as doctor. far as I can see. But um, I, I've been, all the time I've been telling him, my God is good. His only God is keeping me okay. alive. Now, you, you are sister to, to this lady. Yes, yes, sir. You, you are real sister? First okay. step sister. Sit, watch, watch, look at me. Are you stepsister or real sister? My real sister. Yes. Father and mother. Yeah, so you also came to here with the sickness. Yes. What happened to you today? <laughs> I have this problem with, um, from time, um, bleeding. Sometimes I don't see my period for months mm -hmm. and sometimes when it comes it stays a long period of time two three months mm -hmm. i've been to um all the well the doctors they did a whole different test they sent up tube inside of me just to check everything mm -hmm. and um everything mm -hmm. that they have tried i went to harley street to the specialist they said everything is normal but then but you continue bleeding uh, yes and it started in February. And I'm now, but tonight, how do you know your bleeding is stopped? Well, the gentleman. The gentleman. Uh, uh, Bishop, I told her mm. for us to verify that the Lord has healed her. Mm. She has to go to the toilet and check. And she went to the toilet. She went to the toilet and came back. Mm -hmm. That is why she has a testimony now. So because when you went to the toilet, uh, you came here bleeding. And when you went to the toilet... It's very, very light, like normal, like when, it, when the blood finishes. So, the, so y y you believe God who healed your sister from HIV has performed a miracle to you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I receive it! I am a fire! Listen to me. If there is anybody who is blind, will I give you that Jesus is not existing? But to me, I have seen the Messiah. I have seen the glory. Now, we are saving life. We are saving life. The life which should be in the grave is walking. For the past two years, how many people? HIV has put in the grave but now Cassandra is alive her sister was bleeding we are seeing what impossible for doctors has become possible for Jesus somebody raise your hand and say thank you Lord say thank you Jesus wave your hand and say thank you Lord say I receive it I am anointed I am a miracle. I am a fire. 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 You see, when I remember when Moses was in the wilderness as he met God, his countenance changed. And I know the countenance of this lady has changed because he met Jesus the healer, the Messiah, the King of Kings. Let me tell you, Cassandra, seeing you alive is making me to be an apostle. Amen. And nobody can argue with this because such a miracle has happened in Great Britain where they are experts. But many people have gone to grave and the doctor is happy to see her heal. Thank you very much. Bless you, bless you. Bless you. James, yes, Archbishop. Seeing HIV being healed mm -hmm. and seeing many people blind for HIV, what do you want to say? Uh, Archbishop, what I can say is uh, I, the, the world has hope. Let me say that the world now, they have hope. For those people who can be able to believe 
the Lord Jesus Christ, they mm -hmm. can be able to receive uh, their healing. Mm -hmm. Because a sickness like AIDS, it has killed a lot of people, even in a Africa. A lot of people. And most of the people who die, they die because they don't have any, any hope. Because uh, when uh, uh, anybody is mentioned an HIV career, you normally now you think you you you, you, you condemn you, yourself to death mm. because there is the powder has no uh, any any medicine a any lady cure. Who was in the crowd, crowd who also said that in her country immediately you catch up HIV, mm -hmm. you are now being known as a dead body. Yeah, as a dead body, and you are being discriminated, mm -hmm. and you are not. We are being seen mm. as non-existent human yeah. beings. People they do ignore those people who have. Everybody ignore those people who have AIDS, and actually they discriminate them, and they, 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 they live a life that they are like separated from the other people. But what is that that Jesus healed? The, what I, am, I was trying to say here and is that people need to have a hope, because Jesus Christ can heal AIDS. Because mm. if somebody like Kasadlan now, who came here, been carried, and now she has already been restored, mm. and she said her CD count was zero, Point zero uh, uh, zero two. two yeah. So uh, that one that is uh, that it's, dead, minus. it's minus, you know, minus. So uh, and then when she came, the one she received her healing. Now she started counting even three hundred mm. something. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bishop, this this something that we can say that uh, what God can do, no man can be able to do it. The amazing that her sister was bleeding. Yeah, that one uh, just was yesterday service. She came bleeding and uh, for three years, I think three bleeding. years. Bleeding. Yeah. And then she went to the toilet and checked and her the bleeding stopped. Yeah. So this our God is a medicine to people who come. Leo medicine. Leo medicine. Wow. Leo medicine because the lady, you know one thing that uh, what happened yesterday is uh, when she was seated, the one you told us because you are the one who said let every minister, every pastor go and now ask people, because you did say yes. that people, that the, the, the congregation, you wait. The Spirit of God is going to come where you are, mm. and you are going to receive your healing. So you did order every pastor and uh, every minister to go and just ask them, yes. have you received your healing? <laughs> and so me, myself, I just <laughs> went there, and I found the lady, because he, they said the sick people should stand, mm. and that is, the, you have never done that, but you say that the, the people see, the sick people stand, and the others sit down. So anybody was studying, I saw Cassandra and I saw her sister there. Yes. And when I look at them, I saw they, they look the same. Yes. So I went to the, the sister. I did ask her, what is your problem? She said, you know, I have been breathing for three years. Three years. And she was, uh, she was feeling shy. She told me, and I cannot go and testify about it. I told her, but let me tell you. The Spirit of God has healed you because you, have, you told me that you have felt something. When you, with the man of God, you have felt something. So at the end of the day, I told her, can you go to the toilet? You know, my, yeah. go to the toilet and check yourself. Yes. And when she, to her amazement, when she went to the toilet, she came back and said, hey, it is very right. James is a true miracle. It's a true miracle. Now we go to this lady who is a Ghanaian with her husband, mm -hmm. who are condemned in a wheelchair. And yes. The lady and was, was ministered for five years. For five this years. lady mm. came to our ministry with a cancer eight years ago. Eight years I ago. I think it's ten. Yeah, you said that. I no, heard it's you ten say years that. ago. Mm. She had cancer, mm -hmm. proper cancer in the breast. In the breast, yeah. And uh, she was working in Harrods. Mm -hmm. You know Harrods? Harrods is a very expensive yeah. shop. Very expensive shop. And uh, you will not believe that in the same process, mm. Susie went and mm, speak to her at work. Yeah. You, when you so the same anointing which people are talking, Yeah. the same anointing Susie went and spoke to her. And she, she started walking. Started yeah. walking. Yeah. Well, it's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing what God can do. Yes, if somebody sir. like that lady, what's her name? The husband is called Felix. Felix. Yeah, the husband if, is if called Mrs. Felix. If Mrs. Felix yeah. has been on the wheelchair for sitting, not even standing. Yeah, five years. For five years. Mm. And she came to a church and she walked. 
Yes, sir. And she's now pushing and walking around. Yeah, I saw her learning with her with her wheelchair like this. I say, this Jesus, I'm telling you. She walked again and again. I say, Jesus. I was just crabby. I was also amazed. Just bring her here. Turn this lady. I feel like crying to see you this way. Because I know you. You can't know this lady, but I remember in school. She worked in Harold, the most expensive. She was working the most expensive shop in the UK. On the royal family shop there. I don't, I don't want to tell you any story about this lady. But it's paining me to see where he is. This is her hu husband. Saron and this man built a hotel in Ghana worth 400,000 US dollars. Yes, yes. They complete hotel proper. And the man who showed them the land is the one they give money and complete building the hotel. When the man finished building the hotel, the wife said, this hotel is so important, you can't give it to these people. Yeah, can you give the settle then? Yeah? My mother said that um, I am not, um, I do things too big. Mm. <laughs> and it puts her off, so she will show me. So she took the lady out her door. Mm. And they wanted to sacrifice me. So I was mentioned that I mean, I'm dead. They wanted to sacrifice you? Yeah. So, so they assassinated my father. Sit down to cut the story short because I'm feeling concerned with you. So you lost this hotel. It's no longer for you. Yeah. They bribed the court and you lost your 400,000 pounds. It's and still they, in the court. And they put you in the wheelchair. It's yeah. in the court. Yeah. And they put in the chair for how long? Eight years. You have been in this wheelchair for eight good years. And you have been this one here. And you also have been put to walk. To walk. Now. But I was walking here. Mm -hmm. When I came, Sister and Pastor Susie made me to walk. Mm -hmm. She prayed for me. Now, when you came. Yeah. Now, listen to this. These are people who are living in a high top class in the UK. This man, you also, you just had a slight accident. Yeah, I had a slight accident and um, they said I've got a uh, bruise. Accident, small one. Car accident, just a small one. And all of a sudden, it turned to another thing. I, t I attended 21 physios. Still, it was not stopping. The doctors, they did several x-rays. They couldn't find anything. So last week, I was going, I was crying in bed and I phoned Pastor Susie. She prayed for me. Before that, Sister Muchi prayed for me. And uh, the following morning, I went to the hospital. When I was going to the hospital, I entered the, the surgeon's office. I was still praying and I called Pastor Sisi again and he said have confidence in God. They will never operate your leg. So I was there for about 15-20 minutes. They brought another x-ray and they said gentlemen we are not going to operate your leg. So yes last week they were supposed to cut your leg. They were about to cut it. So then to amputate it is good English. They want to amputate it. To amputate your leg. It's it's not, not multiple, uh, hmm? The miracle that came through Pastor S S Susie, now they say he has got multiple um, bruises, fracture. Yeah. So to you, what happened with your waist? You can just I had a stroke, had and a they stroke. wanted to blind me. I had um, my kidney and my hip also, but and I had a ringing of a bell. In my years, they say I'm going to live 
with it for the rest of my life. But now, 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 let me ask you, when you first came to this ministry, when was that? About eight years ago. What, you, what was your problem in your breast? I was having cancer in my breast, but I was healed instantly. You and had cancer in your breast, yes. and you came here and said on you are healed instantly from yeah, that cancer. Yeah, and I haven't had have any problem. And that cancer never come back? No, no, no. But they wanted to attack the next one, but they couldn't. Now, when that eight years ago, the doctor was aware that you had cancer in the breast, when you went back to them, what did they say if they could not find you with cancer in the breast? They were supposed to operate it. Yeah, actually, I was so upset, so I didn't go back. But they says I'm okay. They, from that time, they were wanted to operate you, and you came here, and Jesus healed cancer in your breast. You never come back again. No, I didn't. I didn't. I and was you, free. You never I go back to the doctor again. No, because I was too happy. You are too happy. Yeah. I remember because we, all of us, yeah. we are happy. All of you who are here that time, you remember Jesus healed this lady while she was working in Harrod. Were you there, Betty? Mama, Mama Andrew or Betty, what do you see here with that lady who came and you are just uh, be happy? Betty, Betty is there. Betty is there. Betty, the lady who was healed of breast cancer mm -hmm. and uh, her husband she is in the wheelchair, her husband has four legs. What that mean to you, Betty? When I saw them, Archbishop, I was almost crying. When you saw them? You yes, when I saw crying. them. Uh, that lady came. She was healed her breast cancer. You were there when you I saw I was there in Peckham School. Yeah. But uh, they disappeared. They, did, they disappear. Yeah, they disappeared. So you are also had an inherited, inherited what? Your sickness, your own. I was burning. You are burning. Yes. The sickness that killed your dad mm -hmm. and killed my auntie. Your auntie. Yes. And was in you. After Jesus removed them from you, mm -hmm. it went to your daughter in Japan. That's right. You never disappear. You never miss service 3 a.m. And day. from that time, you were healed. Definitely. When were you healed? Um, it is about um, six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. Six years ago. Yes, yeah, it's about six years ago. About seven. Six, isn't it? Or six, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to give warning to those people who has been receiving healing here. The devil is very funny. Very, very funny. Now, I believe that God should honor these people again. The difference between Sister Betty, Sister Betty, the day she received her healing, she only missed the meet the 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 service when did you miss the service only once only once only once yes but you had immigration problem mm -hmm. and that is you had a police whatever mm -hmm. and that one i also knew the same time and the demons which were in sister betty was worse than the cancer which was in her breast because that demons killed her dad. That's right. And killed her auntie. Mm -hmm. And immediately we removed them here. They went to her daughter in Japan. They those they went to her daughter in Japan and brought the picture of your daughter. And she was healed. And she was healed instantly. And that sickness disappeared. My advice to everyone here. If the devil is just the way which comes at the form of sickness, you should die with the healing here. I want people, don't come to healing here and go to other churches because sometimes the devil and don't fear those churches and those pastors. They are pastors who has no protection. And it doesn't matter if God heal you today.
tomorrow come and this, you only miss when you are at least in a corner in something. But I'm praying for those people who have received healing here in this latest time. The anointing which we are using, the devil knows about it. The devil also is watching me and you. The devil also will tell me, you say, oh, you spell my name that you are healed. Okay, you are healed of cancer. Now, I'm going to allow the witchcraft, which people are sending because you are building a big hotel, now will destroy you completely. I cry when I heard this part went to their house and pastor told me this is Sharon husband. Don't you see now to have four legs here and this will be in the wheelchair is the worst dis disgrace that should not be in people who has worked in Harold. This man knew how to dress and they were driving those post cars Horse one. And she was proud of working in her heart. I, in my dead body, I will never buy even a handkerchief in her heart. It's so expensive. Very, very. The handkerchief that you buy ten, one pound, they can tell you you can buy 200 pounds in her heart. I will never, even I, when you, I, I, I see it around from because the, the top rich world, the people are the ones who buy things there. You know her heart. I warn you, don't go and shop in Harold. It's wasting your money. Because they took some of those uh, crippling, which the poor women wear in Africa from Kekomba, and they make it, when they, they hang it on the, on the tree, that they say, this is very, 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 very useful. I'm a garment manufacturer. I know what, how people are being cheated with this kind of high street, qualified street, that you buy something special more than others. Is a type of now you are, you are flying to Nigeria and you are going to the first class and you are paying 3,000 pounds. Where somebody sitting next to you, just three chairs, is paying 300. Just because you want to feel special for only six hours. They take your coat and they take your hair, then they give you, they give you the tea that even what, what you can make in your house is better. And they call you 3,000 pounds. Fools are the ones who travel like that. Because somebody somewhere is dying with food without even 10 pence. And for sitting six hours, you, you, you waste 3,000 pounds. If you want to travel in fast club, in the aircraft, from here to Kenya, it's about 3,000 pounds. Me, I go to the third class and I pay 340. When they will come out, I walk quickly and I check before them and I will be the first person because just walking in the immigration. And I save about 3,000 pounds. Hallelujah. Amen. May God heal, heal Sarah again. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. In the name of Jesus. Sarah my dear sister in the Lord, do you want to come out of that wheelchair? Quickly as possible today. Quickly as possible today. Yeah. Why do you want to come out of it? Because you have been there for eight good years. I'm sick and tired. And people have been laughing at me too much. You are tired yeah. and people are laughing for you too much. Yeah. Who do you want to take you out of wheelchair? Jesus. Jesus. Do you yes. believe he can? Yes, because Pastor Susie mm. made me to walk. He has made you to walk? Yeah, I was walking. You was walking? And why are you sitting there now? Because I'm a bit tired. Hmm? I'm a bit tired. You're a bit tired. I was saying, stand up and walk again. Get, that in the, get, get, get the things out. Pastor Susie has made her to walk. So, I want to see how you're walking. Susie, you mean that when she walked? You walk. Stand up, mommy. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Praise the Lord. You can stand. You could not stand before. Hmm? No. no. You couldn't. No, because for the past eight years. For the past five years. Five years. Yeah. But it's now you are standing for the first time.
Susie, come here. Come here. Did I not prophesy to you that God is going to use you? Yes, man of God. Can you see what your and, God has done? And the ringing yes, in my, of God. my ears also has disappeared. Eh? The ringing in the ears that has... Uh, the the ringing, ringing in your ears also says, has disappeared. Yeah, they say, I'm going to be for it. Guess for, what? For this, this is the Lord I want to hear. This is not the miracle of form with Gilbert there. Susie has already made her to walk. And I also saw you... Huh? When, he, when he called me that day when he was going to the hospital, before that, I was surprised because I don't know them. The, the wife phoned me. You are only been here five, four years? Yes, man of God. But they were here eight years ago. Yes. Then I asked them. They said that we are members in Gibadea ministry. I said, oh, I don't know you people. But anyway, do you still come in? They are prodigal members anyway. Yeah, they, say, they say no. Then I ask them, do you pay tithes? They say no. Are you coming to the house of God? They say no. So Sharon started explaining to me the history. I say right now, Friday is your day. Call the cab. I'm forcing you. It's your day and your husband. Call the cab to bring you in the house of God. That's why today they are here. But before that, the husband phoned me that they are going to operate him. I said to them... To amputate his leg. Yes. Then I said, send, start paying your tithes and sow your seed. God of Archbishop Bishop there is going to review in the hospital. Saron, for, the, for, the, for five years, you stand out from the, this villa for the first time. Yes, Papa. And you can walk. Yes, Papa. Walk, mommy. Walk. Walk. Come on, look, look! Walk! 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 Stand up! Stand up! Come, come back! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! For the past five years! Clap your hand and applause! Stand is walking! Stand is walking! Stand on, you're walking! Look at this! Look at this, baby! Look at this! Which grab is over? This is your wheels here. Post it, post it because it has been posting you. Come on, clap your hand and praise the Lord for Sarah. Clap your hand and praise him. My, 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 my. You are free. Look at your wife. Look at your wife. Look at your wife. Clap your hand and praise him. What mighty God we shall. Come back, come back, come back. Now, <laughs> what a miracle. That's a miracle by Susan. A miracle by Sus. Look, what do you say? You are crying. Your wife is walking. Um, I'm so happy. Mm. They're crying. I'm so excited. I don't know what to say. Huh? I don't know what to say. She's walking. She's walking. <laughs> She's walking. <laughs> She's walking. She's walking. A miracle God. You don't know what to say. <laughs> So excited. So sure. where, where are those you are you are walking stick? Where are they? Because this is the first time. This is the first time. For five years. She has been able to stand. For five years. She can't stand. He can't stand. She can't stand. But she stood up. And you also you are walking with this. I was walking with this. And she was in the wheelchair. And that house is was and they were supposed to cut your leg off. They wanted to amputate me. Saron, walk again, mommy. I like to see you walking. Go. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Over me, over me. Carry your things also. Over me, Spirit. Holy Spirit. Move
amaze us also here. These miracles, mm -hmm. when they do happen like this, they do amaze people. Mm -hmm. And this is why also you say, God, you are real. Well, that's why we normally say, truly, the God we serve is a God who is real. Mm -hmm. because, the, the, because these are the testimonies or these are the things we can say, the, we call them testimonies or proof Proof that the God that evidence. Is, evidence, yeah, the real evidence that God you are suffering is a miracle worker. Mm. When somebody like that one who has been uh, uh, confined into a wheelchair for in the five UK, years in, in the, the UK, UK here, where they are medical, yeah, experts. medical as uh, yeah, the, and all of them experts, they cannot be able to remove her from that wheelchair. And then when somebody comes, the person walks. It is amazing how God can Instant do this. Instant miracle. Instant miracle. Instant healing. And she start walking and pushing the wheelchair and start praising the Lord. It is. It also amazes. And again, according to the story that he has been helped by, he could not go even to turn it to herself. No, she couldn't. She has to be helped. She has to be. And helped. somebody is preaching Jesus and watching the program yeah. and ignoring this. The world is too. So that's why I'm, I can say people can can. Uh, people do ignore because they are the lethargy, they are the lethargy Christians. They do uh, believe, I think it is in the book of Timothy that was saying that people will have a form of godliness, mm -hmm. uh, but they will deny the power. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the exact verse, I think the book of Timothy, where uh, I think Paul was speaking to Timothy, reminding him that at the end of time, there will be, people will be, um, will be uh, believers, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. They will have a form of godliness, mm. but deny the power mm. that is in God himself. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because people already, uh, uh, they do, do deny this power. Mm. And if you are a church goer, or you are a Christian, or you are a pastor, and you cannot be able to perform these things, and for, for people to see the evidence that Jesus Christ is alive. So Felix also, had an accident and he could walk with two with sticks. two sticks yeah the gentleman the woman is in the wheelchair mm -hmm. and these people are very high profile in the uk yeah good education the big hotel in ghana were yeah, i had you say that they built a very yeah. big hotel so look what happened to them so everyone could not is think that they're safe no, nobody is safe what i can say like bishop it is not money having a lot of money having a good business or having a good life that it can make any human being safe here mm. because the devil is at work to fight people. Because if that kind, those that kind of a family that was living a very good life mm -hmm. can have that kind of problem, mm. then we can say that people need to learn to First Jesus. of all, they got cancer. Yeah. They got healed of cancer. Mm. And again, they did not follow our uh, the, services. The, uh, the services. They disappear. Yes. Because uh, it's important when somebody receives a miracle, uh -huh. you keep it with that what you receive. Because I believe if they could be coming continuously, they couldn't end up that. Yeah, in that but point. when they leave a gap, mm -hmm. they give a space uh -huh. for Satan. That is true. That is true, Archbishop. Because what I, I do think that uh, if God do a miracle in your life, because I suspect these people, they are being fought spiritually. Mm. There is an attack. Maybe through witchcraft, because you said that they were having a very big hotel, building it in Ghana. 400,000 400, pounds hotel. And then all of a sudden, uh, the mm -hmm. woman and the man, the, the, she was attacked. It was an attack to determine her life. So for her, she should not have stayed outside there. The church. When, yeah, when she, she, she received her miracle of the breast cancer, because it was an attack, mm -hmm. she should have followed this God and stay here because i have seen a lot of people here who you know might testify even before i came here that they do re receive their own miracle long time ago but they have stayed here and yeah. they have miracle has been sustained and they kept their miracles yeah they kept yeah. and suddenly cannot catch them cannot again. catch them again he's the alpha omega the first and the last it's amazing what god can do well it's amazing amazing what my god can do it's amazing amazing what my god can do it's amazing amazing what my god can do it's amazing what god we are happy to see you here again 
For the first time I'm sitting with you, your witches wanted to kill you. You'll never die. You will live to proclaim the good news. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Amen. I thank God for my life, for my husband's life, that I'm still alive. Though the devil wanted me to die, but God says, I live. Because no weapon that will form against a Christian, children of God, will prosper. Because he lives. That's why we live. I thank God for my daddy, Archbishop dear. I've never um, have disappointed of him. Um, this is my first time of hearing what he has gone through. But I still thank God for his You life. are also going through hardship. I have also been through hardship. On those five years, you have um, been condemned in the wheel chair, never walk even one minute. Not at all. Never even start. Yeah. Until last Friday. That's correct. I believe you, you understanding the, the, the lady because on those five years, first of all, you are in a coma for how long? Um, actually, I don't know because I used to, before, um, I used to um, pass out and my family, some of my family says she's getting a, 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 a fit. So they spread the news that it's not a coma, but it's a fit. And just this, this disgraced me too hateful. So, um... I, uh, I died in Healing Hospital. You died in I Healing Hospital? I died. Hospital. They told me that I died. You are dead? Yes. And um, immediately, um, I don't know. Then I came back. You don't know? I don't know what and happened. And you take long without knowing where you are? Yeah. Um, I went for physio. And throughout the physio, I passed out. I died. My heart stopped. You got stroke. I had stroke. I've been on the street for five years. And um, I was losing even one eye. But mm. what happened is, um, in, in the dream, I, a lady came to me and put um, something in my eyes, wanting to blind my two eyes at the hospital. And that is where... Um, my whole problem started and tried to initiate me to Satan, to marry to Satan. And offer me no to read the Bible. When I'm reading the Bible, I should upside the, turn the Bible upside down. And when I'm pronouncing God, I shouldn't pronounce God, but I should pronounce the other way. I refuse it. And she started Thank me. God to save the story. So, what are the difference between your life since Friday? You walk. Um, there was a big change. Change. And I'm I'm happy. Although when I got home, I had an attack. A lady had a, a shadow walked into my bedroom. A lady before, came as a shadow. Yeah, is it came into the before I thought I was dreaming, with the good time that I had on Friday. But when I got, I was reading the Bible and I saw a shadow. So I was thinking, it's You are not mind. sleeping? No. That means when you left here on Friday after walking, yeah. you went to your house and you are reading the Bible. Yeah. A lady came in the form of a shadow yeah. and entered to your bedroom. Yeah. What okay. did he do for you? He wanted to strangle me. So before then, I saw um, a, another lady holding a pattern on a big... A, a, Big tray wanted a pattern to swallow me up, and then I, um, I just scream. I says, "I'm not scared of you. If you wanted to attack me, go and attack my papa, Bishop Dear." <laughs> they, did, they did not come. I did not see them. I wish they could come. <laughs> I wish they could come. But in general, how is your health? How is your change? How is your condition? Uh, it's a big change because um, 
the unclean spirit that has been uh, bombarding my life with a lot, a lot, a lot. If it is anybody, the person has gone now. Mm. But be, all the time I had, had Papa Bishop Diaz uh, books and I always sleep with them. And I have his anointed oil, very small oil. It's mm. always under my pillow. I've never mm. lost it. But I lost your handkerchief. They stole it at the hospital. Mm. So for five years, you have been sitting, you could not come out of that chair. No, that's my... Neither even walk. No, that's my baby. <laughs> your husband, your wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> wheelchair they, became they, a baby. They made me, the devil made me to believe that that's my, my praise because they told me I can never walk. They even told me that's what I'm going to be the rest of my day, of my life. Now the doctor said you'll be on that wheelchair the rest of your life. Uh, my, who, who is that lady? Um, the nurse. Mm -hmm. Now, your husband, when you, can you give your husband the microphone? When you see your wife walk for the first time for five years, what was your heart feeling last, in that Friday? Bishop, I don't know how to <laughs> describe it. I was so excited because um, for five years, because of that, I stopped my job. To look after her. To look after her. And, so you, uh, take her, you do everything for her. So when I saw her walking, yeah. I do everything for her. But Friday you saw her walking. Friday I saw her walking. I was shocked. For five good for years. For five good years. I was shocked. Shocked. When we were even going home, mm -hmm. I look at her and I say, are you still walking? He said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so when we, go, we went home, she came out from the car herself. Herself? Herself. And I, I was standing there looking at her. She told the driver to carry the wheelchair to the house. She's not using it. You carry the wheelchair to the house? To the house. She walked by herself? She walked by herself. For five years? For five years. And the same thing happened to you that you are also in crutches. Yes. The devil wanted to destroy my life. Because and your wife. And my wife. Because Both I, of you. I was caring for her and they know I'm behind her. So she's always strong. So what happened is I had a car crash. Car crash? Yes. Not a big one, a small one. It's a small accident. Small accident. And uh, the car was written off. Anyway, oh. but God took me out from the car because it's a Mercedes Benz. It was the police who took me out from the. I know you guys were driving very executive cars. <laughs> and your wife was working with the Herald, and she has a high profile in Herald. Yeah. She, the lady whom you see here, was a senior in Herald, and she had cancer. When did you brought her here and God healed her cancer? Uh, that was um, 2000, the two, 2000, 2000. 2000, yeah. The cancer in the breast. The cancer in the breast. It left, it never it, came it back. It left instantly. It never came back. It never came back up to now. Since, well, when she had that cancer in the breast on that 2000, what were your concerns? Because you are not happy to see your wife has a cancer in the breast. Yes, I wasn't happy, Bishop. Um, the day we came to the church, uh, she was thinking she would die. Of cancer in the breast. Of the cancer in the breast. And I spoke to it once. And you spoke to the cancer, and the cancer left up to now. And the cancer never came back. It never came back. It's the stroke which came, and the, the Lord is good. Thank you very much, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. These are evidence to prove that our ministry, people are benefiting on it. <laughs> Even if you don't benefit, but there are people like that who definitely enjoy why we are Christian. Said the world was created within seven days. 
the moon and the stars were all on up in place He's the Alpha, Omega, the first and the last It's amazing what God can do Well, it's amazing, amazing what my God can do It's amazing, amazing what my God can do it's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing what God can do.